Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Cedar Point, my mecca, my favorite park. Uh, CP fanboy guy here, Drew the intern. We are at Cedar Point as I'm zooming in. You can't really quite tell that. It's a windy day here. It's kind of cold, especially for me coming from Florida. We're going to check it out and show off all the cool things I like about this place. Uh, this video is going to be a little different. It's not quite going to be a tour. It's more things I like, things I don't like, and things that I have fun with. So come on in and check out Gatekeeper flipping over that entrance. Ah, yeah. Talking about it over here by this guy and the main carousel. All right, so we got the uh, the wall construction here for whatever the new project is. You can see it, it pretty much goes on forever. Find this food stand all the way down to uh, like that over there. It's a big area. Uh, they've got this interesting like teaser banner going on up over here. It has uh, it says a legacy of world class roller coasters. Let's zoom in here. Um, and obviously it's got Blue Streak, Mine Ride, Corkscrew, Gemini. Each week they've been adding a new one. Uh, so the next one, if they're going in order, would be Junior Gemini, uh, and so on and so on. We're thinking this is gonna be like a weekly countdown. And then once they get to like here, that's when they're gonna announce their new ride. Uh, who knows if that's what's gonna happen or whatnot, but uh, it's a big area in which they are working on here at the uh, Celebration Plaza. Over here we have the uh, the best ride in the park. Most airtime, old nice. It's nice to walk on. Actually, the whole park to walk on, so it's pretty nice. But um, uh, yeah, Magnum. It's, it's it's bug time at Cedar Point. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, early springtime you get bugs everywhere at Cedar Point. It's. It, it's a unique characteristic that makes this place so good. There you go, folks. Magnum XL 200. And a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Look at the nastiness of this lagoon. All of the, like, pollen in the air. So gross. But, uh, something that's kind of cool is, uh, you've got the old troughs from Whitewater Landings. And this is actually a Whitewater Landings Cube building. You can see like how the turntable used to be and whatnot. And the control booth used to actually be there. The more you know. You know it's a good day at Cedar Point when Maverick Wade is in the station. Hey guys. Hi Mr. Alpaca. Hey look. The POV of the alpaca. Buddy. Yeah, we're at the uh, the pet farm. It's now called the barnyard. It's open 12 to 6. You got all these animals that you can touch, like this guy. Poke, 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 poke. Hey, buddy. All right, you guys have fun. Goodbye. Hey, check it out. It's the ass blowing theater. There's Dragster launching. Well, it already launched. It's coming down. how much the whole tower shakes when the ride goes. Uh, fun fact, these pretzels are delicious. Coming around here, Magnum's got that new loose, loose uh, new, no loose article policy ride, so you have to take your bags. Go them all the way over here to Dragster. You walk down this way and whatnot. So it's kind of far, kind of out of the way, but I guess whatever to speed up efficiency. I'd go on that. It's a uh, not so busy day at Cedar Point, which is nice. Um, just checking out some midways for you guys. All right, you can see uh, right over here the the radar gun clock is no longer here. The train does go flying. Goes up in the air and back down. We got 
got uh, new banners this year. So I literally can't even top those. And uh, my other favorite is that launch though, and though is spelled incorrectly. I have no idea who came up with these ideas, but uh, they're there. Also new this season, you've got uh, these new wait time signs. The gone are the little A-frame things they put outside. But instead they're a little smaller and uh, mounted to posts outside of ride entrances. The uh, dragster this year is now a uh, darker blue. It actually matches the blue train of uh, the ride. It used to be light blue, now it's darker. Looks nice. The sign looks faded. This looks nice. Faded. Nice. Alright, over here is the Rogaroo Plaza, as we saw earlier. Big loop. A uh, surprising fact that I was shocked about is they actually painted all of the station too. It's not white anymore, it's now gray. You can't really tell in the picture, but I promise you it's there. That's where it grew. And the other interesting fact is, while the sign is the same shape, they didn't actually use the support from the old Mantis sign. The more you know. Hey look, so you've got the, uh, the basketball game in Ruguru. I guess it is the uh, King James roller coaster now. Haha. -ha. Check that out, we got some yellow left for Mantis. We got more of this uh, cottonwood stuff here in line for room. But uh, here's an interesting thing for you. One train, and the other one stacks back there. It's cool seeing the underworkings of how Ruru works. This is view is normally hidden on most photos of roller coasters. Yellow. All right, so we just got off of Ruguru. Um, see traffic down here in a second, and. Uh, Different. It it feels like it's different than a roller coaster or a floorless roller coaster. Like you're up a little higher. Um, my head bangs around pretty much just as much as the, uh, the normal Mantis ride. So uh, while it's an improvement, it really isn't a drastic improvement. So it it basically did exactly what I thought it would do. It took a ride I didn't really like and made it into a ride that I liked slightly better. And that's Ruguru in that show. Alright, so we're inside the sweet spot, which uh, has candies and all of these tasty things, like um, uh, pretzels covered in chocolate, and pretzel rods, and Rice Krispie treats and stuff. And you got actually got people here like making things, like it's a like a little kitchen show here. So it's kind of cool. Um, Six hand dipped strawberries for that price. And of course, they also have delicious things like popcorn and stuff like that. So, this is the, uh, the sweet spot. Well, over here, we got marshmallow wands. Those look tasty. Vanilla wafers, Buckeyes. Couldn't have these anywhere besides Ohio. Chocolate covered Oreos. Some more pretzel rods. Marshmallow wand. Huh. Fancy. Look at that stuff. The giant Rice Krispie. And then of course fudge. 
fresh fudge. All right, so that's the sweet spot. If you're curious, here's reasons to return barbecue festival. I'm riding sledges, flying up the point, beach blast. I'm so that dark and Halloween weekend. Little known fact: uh, you have this giant arcade uh, in Cedar Point. They actually updated some games here in this and stuff like that. Like, well, most things are old school arcade games. It's cool to see some things new and updated. But yeah, this is under the giant ballroom outside of Cedar Point and uh, us arcades. They all run on quarters, so you. Uh, to get your, your quarter stuff going. So check it out. Lots of quarters. But yeah, this right here, this is the uh, the giant arcade. I only walked through bits and pieces of it. It goes way further back that way. And of course, a Wizarding Oz machine. Yay! So uh, over here next to the fancy schmancy kitty carousel, you've got the new location for the Dodgers. That Sir Rubber Dub Tub has been removed. Um, there's a kids area, so it's not really all that exciting. But over here, there used to be a, uh, a little little water ride for kids here, and it's gone now and replaced by the Dodgeon building. Over here next to Max Air. So, that's that. Also over here, Tiki Twirl, it's the reimagined Calypso. Looks pretty over here now, and it, uh, Looks to also be more popular. It's right here next to the giant wheel. Uh, also new, right on this exact same midway, you've got this, uh, if you walk down here a little bit, Joe Cool's Dodging School, which is part of the Planet Snoopy. Um, right there. And uh, of course you got Beaver Tails over here. And the Coke Freestyle truck. That's not open. But interesting thing here, uh, this, uh, Shootout now seems to be sponsored by Sprite. Yeah, Planet Snoopy, Stadium, Wicked Twister, Piggy Twirl, Giant Wheel, New Midway, and Toronto Josh would definitely be happy about that. I never really like games, but I think it's neat when they are. To and we're taking this race off so you've got three, uh, Gatekeeper Race, two, and then one, Banker Ball, which three. has Gatekeeper on it. And furthermore, you also have one theme for Millennium. That's cool. So uh, in the uh, Gatekeeper gift shop, they have this shirt, I'll be your Gatekeeper. I don't get what it's trying to say, but it's kind of neat. Uh, there's some other Gatekeeper stuff here. <laughs> now, this one's interesting because uh, first time ever Wicked Twister is on a, on a t-shirt. And so... Uh, this is your gatekeeper gift shop. Other than that, pretty much everything is uh, the same as it was two years ago. Just hasn't sold out yet. <laughs> That's a very big pencil. So over here we have the uh, evac platform for Windseeker in the beach. And the evac platforms. We are uh, in line here for the All right, over here we got the Little Lakeside Pavilion, the new or improved convention space area. It's interesting, it's inside the park this time versus the, the last place you could get outside of the park. You can see a nice fountain and benches and soda and all of that cool stuff. So uh, that's the uh, Lakeside Pavilion here right next to Windseeker and the Extreme Sports Arena. Over here is the other entrance to the Lakeside Pavilion. Which is properly named because it's uh, Lakeside. And um, get in here. It looks like I could probably just go in here. But they got a little temporary stage set up, and they got lots of little tables and umbrellas, and lots of bird poop, and uh, some cool old artwork on the walls, which is nice. I like old stuff. So this right here is this side of the Lakeside Pavilion. In Seeker, it's seeking up there. Spinning around, you know. Uh, so over here we have a Helen Keller sign, and this is the oldest building at Cedar Point. Oh, we push a button. 
Push this button. That guy. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> You're covered in water. <laughs> well, this so this is the oldest building at Cedar Point and uh, dedicated to Helen, Helen Keller and the food services. <laughs> Something that's cool at Cedar Point is they've got their own water tower. And it goes right into a uh, backstage employee only area. That uh, used to be where employee dorms were. And now it's wardrobe. Well, it's always been wardrobe, but yeah. Hey look, Magnum's a landmark. Well, Gemini might never be an ace classic or anything like that. It does have this nice banner here dedicated to Ron Toomer and all the good stuff he did for aerodynamics and Cedar Point. That's the money shot right there. Corkscrew, going through Power Tower and going through Dragster. Roll back. Oh man. Hey, why'd you guys go backwards? <laughs> that, was, that was weird. <laughs> Is it supposed to do that? Now. I think that's cool. See, uh, yeah, there's some recycling in there. Good for them. New for last year is the Lake Erie Eagles, the pipe scream, and all this new Gemini Midway. You see, it looks nice. Monster got repainted. Got cool lights up here. Uh, Coke freestyle, and of course, great view of Dragster. So that's what's going on over here. And look at another Plinko game. This one's themed the Maverick. You can win from the line passes, yay! I believe this Camp Snoopy sign is uh, new for this year. I haven't seen it before. But look at Snoopy up there. He's petting Dragster, but he's got a mole on his nose. Hee <laughs> hee. But uh, of course last year Wilderness Run, their Junior Gemini became Wilderness Run, and they got a new interest, interest inside the kitty area. So as uh, Junior Gemini was renamed to Wilderness Run, entrance is now on the other side, sort of uh, over here by uh, the wooden or the uh, Woodstock Express Speedway, you go into it this way rather than the other way. So it's a little backwards, but it's right next to this theater. So that's uh, where Wilderness Run is now. And uh, there's a mailbox where you can uh, put your letters in here. Right in there. Mailbox. And over here is the nicest smoking section in the park. Got a good view of Dragster right up there. You got Millennium right over there. You got more Dragster over there, and it's right next to Dinos. Walking across the bridge. Where could this bridge go? I think this is my favorite part of the bridge. Top thrill dragster views. And yeah. Alright. Here comes Bloody Force. There they go. Funny video. Push a button. Oh, his head's moving. He's like, no, don't put me on camera. I hate coaster nerds. <laughs> All these buttons aren't doing much. I do not like fish. But that guy does. I'm gonna eat you. He's like, stay behind the yellow line. I have no idea what's going on here. This is weird. Huh. So this dinosaur has a butthole. And there's the dino poop. From there to there. Huh. I guess we're in Universal. But either way, they got some cool dinosaur signs here in the dino shop. 
Super hard. So we got this little goodbye uh, exit gate and Windseeker looks like it's falling down. And there's Vanis. But uh, Windseeker looks like it's going into the lagoon. Alright guys, thank you for watching this uh, fantastic video of Cedar Point and all the fun things going on. Uh, I know it's a little different than our normal videos, but it was just really me having fun at a park I love. Uh, we're closing out here with a clipping of Raptor on the main midway. It's amazing to me, like the skyline of this park has changed a lot, but Raptor has just been here for such a long time now. So thank you for watching this video and every video we do here at In The Loop. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Make sure you guys uh, like us on Instagram and follow me on Twitter at Drew the Intern. Uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you guys on the midway.